JEBCO, General Bathymetric Chart of the Oceans, is a non-profit organization. JEBCO aims to provide the most authoritative, publicly available bathymetry datasets for the world's oceans. It's the only organization in the world that tries to map the entire world ocean. The only one that looks after the entire world, and it's JEPCO. Uh, we know more about the moon, and we know about the far side of the moon than we know about the deep oceans. You can't fish, you can't know where the currents are pushing the water, you can't really predict the weather um, without knowing what the ocean is doing. Can we talk about uh, deep sea ocean mapping without JEPCO? JEPCO has been, has been the leading organization to map the world ocean. There are a lot of unknown things at the deep sea. This type of undertaking requires an international effort, an effort that needs sharing of data, information, and technology. JEPCO produces charts and digital grids of the world's oceans with data contributed from many reliable sources. We need to map the ocean because it's totally unmapped. Uh, we don't know what's there. Every time we map it, we find something new. It's our Earth. It's where we live. It's 70% of the surface of the Earth. By mapping it, we understand what's there better, and we get a sense that it's a real place rather than some vast uh, bathtub full of water that, that uh, sort of has no end. Actually, it looks like empty without data. Before we started looking into the ocean, we didn't know so many things about our planet. Major breakthroughs were made by mapping the oceans. For instance, supporting the concept of plate tectonics. Plate tectonics is a simple theory that the Earth is fragmented into rigid plates that constantly move. This has revolutionized our understanding of the Earth. We need to remember that it is not the things we already know that will make a difference, but the things we have yet to discover that will make breakthroughs in our understanding of the planet. Ocean mapping can also contribute to understand the distribution of the resources in the ocean. Ocean mapping is important to provide a base map for other scientific disciplines such as marine geology. Well, not at all, not at the resolution that you see the details of what's there. It's been mapped by a uh, technique of satellite altimetry, but that only gives you one depth sounding every uh, two kilometers. We need to map it to see the details like you're seeing here in this image. Using satellites, it is possible to predict the shape of the ocean floor. However, satellites are not capable of observing details on the ocean floor. Imagine taking one depth measurement every couple of kilometers. One of the things that we do wrong sometimes is we make beautiful maps like this. And people look at them and say, well, you're finished. We think we've probably actually measured real measurements about 10%. And so we have a general idea of the shape of the ocean basins. Now we have very small areas of the ocean that are mapped very well. Ultimately, we need to have the entire ocean mapped very well. These are ship track lines from 1980 to 2010 surveys. As of 2011, most of the oceans have not been explored. Due to this reason, interpolations and interpretations are used to create a bathymetric map of the world's oceans. It means that the resolution and reliability of the map are limited. We know the broad scale features, uh, we know some of the broad scale processes, but every time we go out and map we find uh, totally new events, totally new processes that we hadn't thought about. The detail is often what makes it real for us. 
Jeffco for me is a community of people from all over the globe joined by the common language of ocean exploration. To me, Jeffco is the nicest community of the collection of experts, technology for the ocean mapping. As a hydrographer, Jeffco is a very useful tool for survey planning. Jeffco is a nice community to get information about deep, deep ocean. Jebco has members all over the world. To get more countries and people involved, Jebco has initiated a training program in ocean mapping. The program is held in the Center for Coastal and Ocean Mapping Joint Hydrographic Center at the University of New Hampshire. Members from more than 20 countries participated in this program from 2004 to 2009. Personally, JFCO has provided me an opportunity to uh, have a deep understanding of ocean mapping and hydrography. This is a great opportunity for me, for my country, and in the whole Indian Ocean. Yes, yeah, just part of my life. Yet, most of the Earth doesn't belong to anybody, so somebody has to do it. So really, I guess most people join the sense of responsibility. We should join JEPCO because we have a huge task of mapping the ocean, and that the hydrographers and ocean mappers out there should take part in accomplishing this task. If everybody contributes their data to fill the empty ocean, everyone can share the result. Everyone needs to work together to get more information about deep sea. Joining Chopco is an opportunity to meet people from all around the world, share with them a common interest, and be a part of a very small percentage of people that discover new things. Ako ay Jebko. Mama Jebko. Watashi wa Jebko. Ani Jebko. Ami ek Jebko. Omiku Jebko. Ya Jebko. I'm a Jebko. You should be too.